Hello there, guys, girls, gamers. It's me, Genuine Parts, as always. It's always me, Genuine Parts. I would be concerned if I was someone different. If I release a video where I say I'm someone different, please call the authorities. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, we are back in If My Heart Had Wings. Uh, Katori just uh, stormed into our room and asked us about the leg and well, let's see what goes from here. No reason, I just felt like it. There's no need for you to worry about it. Who said that I was worried about you? I'm not worried, not even a tiny bit. See you later, that was a waste of time. Katori makes a straight face and goes back to her room. You're going again tomorrow, aren't you? Hmm? To the garage at lunch? I... I'm not going. Well... Is what I felt... It felt like she was going to say. I am going! She answered and panicked as she left my room. Looks like I should make three lunch boxes this time. Extend the little wings which fly in the sky highly. We know that sentence already. Oh, nice overlay. Today didn't go well either. Today's breakfast was another dismal failure. All of the border showed their faces in the dining hall for breakfast, but the only one who finished her meal was Kaneko. There must must have been something wrong with it. All I have to do is make meals and clean. What a piece of cake! Is what I thought when I was accepted when I accepted the job as store mother. But my confidence is gradually fading. What are you brooding over, you traitor? What do you want? Mat mat masa tu tsugu. Joining me on the way to school went out of his way to come and sling verbal abuse. A few things happened at the dormitory. Dealing with girls can be tough. Now I can say it. In that case, you should talk to me. That's because I have a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Isn't she a freshman at Seishin's Girls School? Seishin's Girls School is a school for rich girls and famous even in this neighborhood. The uniform has a reputation for being cute, so fans come from far and wide just to take a look. Her name is Eri Chan. Do you want to see a photo? What, what, <laughs> what question is that? Here, photo of my girlfriend. She's tied up in my basement. <laughs> he looks like she's about to show me, so I go along with it. But that was a bit she, I'm sorry. Whoa, seriously, she's cute, cute, cute. Isn't she? We're in a band together, Eevee chants on vocals and bass, and I'm on guitar. Marbu, you can play guitar? I practiced like crazy for Eri-chan, now I can play as fast as Yingui. I don't think I know Yingui, but I don't think I have to. Maybe, may I may might look that up. Da ra ra ra! He glows as he shows off some great air guitar. Anyway, who the hell is Ingrid? Oh, thank you, thank you. Give me exposure. Oh hey, at your school, old school, you were riding bikes, weren't you? Yeah, I was. What about it? So you are not doing it anymore. We don't even have a cycle racing club 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 at our school, though. Yeah, I don't do it anymore. Hmm. hmm. Masatsuku's face seemed to say it's got nothing to do with me, though. Didn't you get on the podium at some huge race meet? Did you hear that from Anchan? Anchan told Agia and Hotaru that they should go with him and cheer for you at the next race. Well, he told me too. Hmm. 
That made me go a bit red. Yeah, he 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 grown red too. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I wanna go so that I can see you lose me my miserably. I wasn't planning on going so I could cheer for you or anything. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Don't get so flustered. Uh, Agia felt bad about it that she couldn't see you at your best. You knew about that, didn't you? No, I didn't know. I never thought that I would make it to the podium, even if I knew I was too far away for me to say, come and watch me. Even so, you still didn't contact us. Same goes for both of us. Besides, I sent you a new year card every year, didn't I? You mean the pre-printed ones that they sell at the convenience store? You did the same thing. Anyway, your new year cards usually arrive at the end of January. You should just be thankful that I sent you one back, you. Oh, I found the odd couple. <laughs> Hi, Gear. Morning. Hmm, what's up, my boo? Matsusugu was sneakily hiding in my shadow. It's nothing. Don't get too friendly with me, or Eri-chan will get angry. Wow. Wow. Okay, okay, she's such a cutie. Yeah, uh, cute, cute girlfriend, isn't she? Jokingly, Agia deliberately keeps her distance from Masuku as she walks. Masuku comes up behind me and gives me a little poke in the ribs. That thing we were talking about just now, don't say anything to Agia, okay? What thing? About the fact that she wanted to go watch your race. Okay, I get it. It's the sort of thing that needs to be kept a secret? Why are you two guys like... Like you... Why are two guys like you getting so clingy? Wh what do you mean? Who do you wanna get near this guy? You gross. You don't have to actually spit. <laughs> You're getting along so well. I'm so jealous. Jealous. I'm jelly. Shut up, Agia. Aga Agaya? Did you did he just say Agaya? Let me. Oops. Don't know. Yeah, I don't say weird things like that. And an iris swipe. Lunch time! Today I didn't eat my lunchbox early, as I basked in this tiny sense of achievement and got my lunch lunchbox out, Katori had already disappeared from the classroom. What What's she doing? Hmm. As she looked out into the hallway, uh, she was moving back and forth as if she were saying, should I go forward? No, maybe I should go back. Are you waiting for me? <laughs> ah! Letting out a cry not really befitting a pretty little girl, Kotori fanned herself with her left hand as if to calm herself down. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Sorry, I only wanted to speak to you. That's all. You're going, aren't you? To the garage? <laughs> yes, I am. It's not like I'm waiting for you, though. Okay, shall we go? I push her wheelchair on the way. <laughs> hey, hey, don't stop. Just stop pushing me. Here, hold this, would you? I pass my back to her. Hey, don't treat me like baggage storage. <laughs> Looks like nobody's here. The garage was open, but there was no one there. For some reason, it felt like a main was almost here. Uh, a main, a main. So it was a little surprising. The air conditioning's not turned on, so it, it's quite humid. Uh, what should we do? W why are you asking me? Kori K Kotori subconsciously put her hand on her stomach. Shall we have a lunch in here? I made one for you too, Kotori. Well, I mean leftovers from breakfast. Kotori didn't come to have any breakfast this morning, so she shouldn't have any way of knowing what food was served. Is that also part of your door job as door mother? Mm, no, I'm just meddling. 
free one one two three i put the three lunch boxes on the workbench i went to the trouble of making one for a man too to the main the air condition isn't turned on in the garage so if i just leave it here it will go bad well turn the air conditioner on it is a refrigerator so i decided to put it in there if i leave a note on the desk she will realize and then eat it won't she no nope. could you turn on the electric fan Katari turns on the nearby electric fan. What about the air conditioner? I can find the remote controller. It's probably buried somewhere. We open the lunch boxes in the place that gets the full force of the wind from the electric fan. What is this? Curry? This morning's breakfast was curry. You don't like it? Do people usually put curry in the lunch boxes? Can you complain after you've eaten it? Uh, you can complain after you've eaten it. Hmm. Katori has a meek look on her face as she moves the cold curry towards her mouth. It's tasty even though it's cold. It would be good if we, uh, we had a microwave though. For a little while the two of us quietly eat our curry. Cold curry? I don't know. Today there is no sheet covering the glider. I gazed at the simple, sleek shape of its body and thought it was beautiful. You think everything is beautiful, Ko Aoi? I imagined the aircraft cutting through the air as it flew. When riding a bicycle, your greatest enemy is the wind. Huh? Hmm? Katori's face seems to say, what is this guy talking about all of a sudden? But I carry on regardless. The worst thing is when you have headwind. While you while it is constantly pushing you back, you have to keep pedaling. I faced the wind coming through the electric fan, set it too strong and I remember that feeling a little. The feeling of the wind gradually draining my stamina. That is why when we ride a bicycle we try to find ways to reduce air resistance. Not just the shape of the bike or the helmet. During the race we cooperate with the members of other teams and form a group while riding. I thought that while riding a bike, it would be better if the wind wouldn't blow. But this thing rides the wind to fly. Jet engine. Even you though it doesn't have a jet engine or a propeller. If we hadn't actually seen it flying that day, even with the real thing right in front of us, we wouldn't be able to imagine it flying. Speaking of which, Katori, how do you know about gliders? She didn't really know that much about them. That was the first time she actually seen a real one. I don't really, I just read about them in a book. Somehow it seems like it's hard for her to answer, so I decide not to go any further. Speaking of books, there's a bookshelf here, lined with many books. Looking closely, they are all related to gliders or aircraft. I pick one up and take a look inside. It's all in English. I can't read it. It's not like my grades in English are bad, but with the level of English I have from studying at school, reading academic papers is really tough. Well, apparently this is some self-referential jokes from the translators. Seems like Kuturi is the same. This book has a lot of photos. There was a book that had many photos of gliders, like a catalog. There are so many different types. The shape of the wings, the size, and so on. Even with gliders, there are so many different varieties. Look at that. Now look at this. What's happening in this picture? It's flying over a mountain. It looked so natural that I didn't really notice, but the glider was flying high enough that it could look down on the mountain. They can fly that high? Katori and I, without realizing, both look at the glider sitting over there. With its wings removed, we couldn't really grasp the full size of it, but at a glance, it didn't seem all that different to the glider in the photo. A man had said that it could go above the clouds. I wonder what it feels like to fly through the sky. 
It probably feels amazing to fly on the rising air currents. Would be just like being a bird, wouldn't it? After we finished our lunch boxes, we stayed for a little longer. Spent the time looking at books and admiring the glider. When the bell rang, it felt like the time to enjoy ourselves was over and I felt a little sad. Hmm, what's this? Just as we were about to go, just as we were about to go to bed, just as we were about to go back to the classroom, Kotori noticed a photo frame on a photo frame on a, a main a main's desk. I wonder what this is. The weird thing was that there was a photo frame, but no photo inside. An empty photo frame had been placed here, there. In her case, it's pro she probably managed to lose just the photo inside. Hmm. What's up? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Uh, Let's go. It's hot in here. I can't stand it. The moment we stepped out the sound like garage, the air outside felt cool. Oh, it's night again. What? Very quickly. Splash, splash, splash. Whew! Ah, I'm worn out. It's easy to say clean the bathroom, but I never thought it would be such a big job. Plus, there's no air conditioning in there, ah, so I'm sweltering. Sweltering? The trouble is, if I don't do this every day during the summertime, then mold will start growing. It's not just about hygiene, it's kind of gross too. There's no way you can take a bath when there's mold growing in there. My cell phone rang. On the display it showed home. Hello? Hello, Ari. It's me. What's up? Nothing, really. I was just wondering how you're doing. How is it? Is it going smoothly? I can say it's going smoothly. I didn't think much of it when I accepted, but it turned out to be pretty tough. 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 Yes, of course. There's no such thing as an easy job. Going to school every day and doing the work of a dorm owner is wearing me out. I realized this after only a few days. This is a lot of hard work. But now, that's better for you, isn't it? Why? You can do it without dredging up old memories. Well, if that's what you think, don't talk about it. Or do you miss your mama? A model like you? She's kind of the mother who loves teasing her son. but. Did she get me to do this dorm mother job because she was worried about me? I'm so busy that I don't have time to dwell on things. Speaking in the hallway, the other boarders may have been able to hear me, so I went back to my room. We continue our silly parent-child conversation. My mother is a fiercely independent person and a hard-working career woman. Many things she have been happening until recently, while they're still going on now and we're living separately. I'm a bit too old to be missing my mother, though. It's enough for me to just speak to her from time to time. How's school? It's going fine. Agia is here, too. Agia chan Agia, it's Agia. Agia chan she's gotten so pretty, hasn't she? Recently I saw her for the first time in a while, and I was so surprised. Me, too. She's like a proper girl now. Whoops. See, you won't be able to think about her like that for much longer. Agea chan will even be even more pretty from now on, won't she? She's outgoing and considerate, so she will, will be very popular with the boys, no doubt about it. Jeez, cut it out. What are you talking about? No, no. You have such a sharp tongue. You remind me of someone. Yeah, you. Would a mother usually tell her son to go chasing after girls? Okay then, good luck. If you have any trouble, call me. Sure. Also, if you're finding it tough to do all the housework, you can ask the boarders to help you. The rent in the place is super cheap, so they should help with things like that. I'll think about it. Okay, good night, Aoi-chan. She called me that on purpose because she know I don't like it. 
and then I ended the call. My father is the one who chose to call me Aoi, but it's kind of a girl's name, so I was often teased about it, and it seems she still remembers. I put down my phone and take a look at the boarding student's roster. For the boarders' jobs, cleaning their own room is a given. Then there's cleaning the hallways and entrance as well as the dining hall. On the other hand, my jobs are to prepare breakfast and dinner, clean up afterwards, clean the bathroom and the garden and other miscellaneous chores. It's actually pretty tough that maybe I should ask for some help. Even if I can't just get them to clean the bathroom, that would be a real lifesaver. Huh? Yuka? <laughs> yes? Yuka, who is in the dining hall, the tall fourth grader and the one who's been here the longest, seems surprised as I call out to her. What is it, Aoi? Can I ask you a question? I lay out the roaster that I was looking at on the table where Yuka is sitting. Yuka, who should be used who should be used to be seeing this, looks at it with curiosity. Katori doesn't have her name on the job roaster. Starting with Kanako and then Yuka, there are four names, but Katori's name is not there. Her yes, but she Yura looks towards the dining hall door as she speaks. She's disabled. I see, so that's why. Thank you. It's okay. And this is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Best regards from the parts. Wait. Okay.